Hello everyone, my name is OPSR, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to kill the Ender Dragon in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is called a two cycle, and it can be consistently done in under a minute, even though it has absolutely no difficulty whatsoever. It's also very simple to gather materials for. All we need is two or three beds if you want to be safe, a projectile, which can be anything from snowballs to ender pearls to a bow and arrow, even a fishing rod works. Then we need some blocks and preferably an iron pickaxe. I say preferably because it can be done with any tool, but iron pickaxe is best. Once you enter the end, the only thing that is maybe kind of difficult is hitting crit bug. Crit bug is an allowed glitch for glitchless speedrunning, where you aim your crosshair between the dragon's head and neck and throw your projectile. This will make us deal four times as much damage to the dragon. So if I blow up a bed, look at how much damage that did. In comparison to if you don't hit crit bug, it only does that much damage. So you're going to want to hit crit bug. Now that we've hit crit bug, take your end pickaxe and do six critical jumping hits to the ender dragon. After this, do one non-critical, non-jumping hit. This is the maximum amount of damage we can do to the dragon before it flies away. Okay, now that we have the maximum amount of damage we can do on the ground, place two beds, place a bed on top, and blow up the bed. Immediately run to the right because this gives the dragon the chance to instant reperch, which it luckily just has. Then do the same thing we just did, six critical hits, a non-critical hit, two blocks, bed, explode, and there, under a minute and the dragon is already dead with basically no difficulty. Unfortunately, the dragon doesn't always instantly reperch. As you can see, it still has a ton of health and it hasn't even perched again yet. There is a way to get around this though, but it involves having two beds at the end instead of one. Still do your six jumping hits, and then non-critical, non-jumping hit, and then we're going to set up the bunk bed. Crouch, place a bed on the side of the fountain, place two blast resistant blocks on top of it, like cobblestone or endstone, and then while still crouching, place the bed on top. Then go in this hole, and with half a second in between the beds, blow them up. These timings are kind of precise, and if you're too slow with it, the dragon will get away, but this is the way to kill the dragon even if it takes a really long time to perch again. So yeah, that's everything you need to know about 2-cycle in basically 2 minutes. It's incredibly fast, incredibly consistent, and incredibly easy, I hope. If you have any difficulty with it, join my Discord server though, and I'll be happy to hop on a call and help you try to solve it. Thank you for watching, and see you guys all. Time it with the Dragon Death. See you guys all next time.